How's it going, Savage Life family? I want to ask you guys, are you ready for what's going to come? What's going to come in the upcoming couple of weeks and months, meaning November and December? As of now, we are currently taking a step back because I believe it's definitely not all coin season. I'll explain why it isn't all coin season as of yet. But with the pullbacks of Bitcoin, you have been seeing the rises of all coin. For an example, today, Bitcoin is down 4.52%. But we have all coins like Cardano, which is up 0.18%, Solana up 12%, Litecoin up 1%, Avalanche up 3%, Ethereum Classic up 5%. So it seems a lot of these great coins with great fundamentals are taking advantage of bitcoin's pullback like algorand which is up three percent so what does that mean when bitcoin pulls back when bitcoin pulls back it means people are collecting profits and typically when they collect profits they pour it into their altcoins because altcoin season is yet to come now we're gonna go ahead and look at some technicals so I can give you guys a clear example of where it has started. Taking a look at some historical trends due to last Bitcoin rally that we saw in 2017. The reason the last rally was in 2017 is due to the fact that we had the halving in 2017. Every four years, Bitcoin has a halving where its supply is cut and the mining rewards are reduced in half. Now, if we take a look at Ethereum, it seems the rise last having started in November of 23rd in 2017, where it rose all the way here, all the way to the 13th of January. So if we see that in a percentage gain, we can see that was a 386, 390% gain from the 23rd of November to the 13th of January for Ethereum. But as you can see, it wasn't just a straight ride up, it was some consolidation of ride up, consolidation of ride up. That is a healthy buildup for Ethereum. That is a healthy buildup for altcoins. Definitely, you're not going to want to see a coin go up like this in just a matter of days because there could be some massive selling pressure that could indefinitely just drop the price down just as quick as it rose back up. So now that you guys have a visual, let's show you another coin here for an example, Litecoin. Now, typically, they tend to rise in different days. As you can see, for Ethereum, it was November 23rd when the rally started after the cup and handle formation was formed. For Litecoin, there was a cup and handle formation formed on October 15th all the way to November 16th, where after that cup and handle was finished, we went ahead and saw that massive rally. Now, the rally began here on December 17th and ended here on December 12th. As you can see, it was a short-lived rally, which caused a devastating blow, dropping it for, from $419 all the way down to $259 in just a day. You don't want to get caught in that pullback, and you definitely have to watch out when collecting profits, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I will be collecting profits, especially on coins like Ethereum Classic, if you haven't watched as of yet. So let's see that percentage grow for Litecoin in just six days, 313 percent growth that is a massive growth and an indication of what's to come typically november december is where we see the altcoin rally and season come along so i'm going to leave this link in the description so you can sort of head get an idea when is it altcoin season if 75 percent of the top 50 coins performed better than bitcoin over the last season which was 90 days it is altcoin season. So the index is currently showing 41, pushing more towards Bitcoin than altcoin at the current moment. So Bitcoin is still bullish and has massive potential to continue rally rallying before the money is poured into altcoins, which is a good thing. Good thing because the higher Bitcoin rallies up, the higher altcoins are going to rally. So if Bitcoin stops rallying here at these $60,000 price points, then we're just going to reach the normal all-time highs that we have reached previously. But if Bitcoin continues to rally up to 80,000, new highs are going to be formed for a lot of these altcoins, which is going to cause juicy influx in cash into the cryptocurrency market. 
So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's going on with Bitcoin. We have PayPal billionaire Peter Thiel saying you're supposed to just buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin, not sell Bitcoin. He's indicating that this is going to be a turnaround. What else do we have? We have a U.S. public pension fund investing in Bitcoin for the first time. So if you don't know what pension funds is, it is what teachers, cops, firefighters typically rely on for a retirement. It is their retirement fund and they're using these funds to invest in Bitcoin, but it just goes to show how reliable it has become over the years to be decided as an investment for teachers, firefighters, and police officers who typically take the safer, slower route. We also have Will here tweeting price grinding down and funding is rising for your information. Now, what does he mean by this? And where is the pension funds being invested? Right here, ladies and gentlemen, into FT valuing a crypto group at $25 billion. Now, FTX has agreed a $421 million funding round with backing from groups including BlackRock, Sequoia and the Ontario's Teachers Pension Plan, marking the latest sign that blue chip investors are warming to digital assets. This is absolutely great news, phenomenal news, and it just lets you know how early we are in this stage and how confident institutional investors are coming around to crypto currencies now this opens the doors for alt season and altcoins since institutional money is being poured in and the more money is poured into the cryptocurrency market the more money is shared all around on top of this we have house speaker gingrich stating that central banks will now hold bitcoin as reserve against inflation which is funny because beforehand, when all the fund was being released, central banks were the ones on top of the fund stating that there is nothing backing Bitcoin. But now here they are using Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation, inflation that they have caused themselves. Quite ironic. So something to look forward to as well is crypto wallets coming to Robinhood. If you have it as of yet and you are in Robinhood as a brokerage, be sure to sign up for that waitlist. Because what's going to end up happening is a lot of these currencies are going to flow out of the exchanges, out of Robin Hoods, and being saved onto real wallets like MetaMask, Trust Wallets, to be used for everyday purchases. Maybe people want to buy coffee with their Dogecoin or buy some Maverick tickets and AMC tickets, then that will become a possibility. And when a majority of these currencies are pulled out of the exchange like Robinhood, Robinhood is going to be forced to buy and dip its toes into more cryptos that they are low on supply on, like the coins that they're currently holding is Dogecoin, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And they probably have plans to adding Shiba Inu, but don't jump on that ship as of yet since it is a risk as it is a meme coin with no clear fundamentals. So if you guys enjoyed this quick little update, be sure to smash that like as it massively helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.